Well, crap. If you've got a toilet that's running a little bit noisy, chances are it's a bad fill valve. It's easy enough to fix. First things first, let's shut off the water. Now that the water's shut off, first thing we need to do is get all of the water out of the tank. So just flush and go ahead and hold that handle down till you get the water as low as you can get it. Now that you've got a lot of the water out of the tank, you need to get the rest of the water out of the tank. Because when we take this valve out, we're going to have a hole in the bottom and all that water is going to come out onto the floor. So let's get it out of there. Just grab a sponge or a rag or a towel or something and just start soaking it up. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ooh, gross, I'm getting water out of a toilet. Don't worry about it. All the water inside the tank here is perfectly clean water that comes right out of your tap. Just like the stuff you drink from the sink. And once you have all the water out of the tank, next step, let's disconnect that water supply. Now if this was put on correctly, it should just be hand tight. And keep in mind there's going to be some water in this line, so it's a good idea to have a towel available catch that water. While we're down here, let's go ahead and pull this nut right off of the valve. Simple pair of pliers. Should be able to loosen that right up. And now we can just remove the valve. Take out that water line and it just lifts right out of the tank. And that's what we need to replace. And here's our new replacement valve. Uh, this is actually a pretty cheap part, seven or eight bucks. You can find them at most hardware stores. And it's super easy to install. It just goes in pretty much like the last one came out. So let's get it unboxed and put it in there. Inside the box, you'll find your valve, a refill tube, clip to hold it in place, washer, as well as a lock nut to install it. And of course, a handy set of instructions uh, to help you put this thing in. It's super easy. You saw it come out. Let's watch it go back in. Now this is a universal valve, which means it'll fit most tanks, which also means you probably need to adjust it to fit your particular tank. And that's easy enough to do. This shaft just screws and unscrews to adjust to the height that you need. Now that's easy to figure out for your tank. If you've still got the old one, just eyeball it and get it at about the same height. If you don't still have the old one or if you have something different, you can just drop it in your tank and figure out the right height that way. First thing we need to do is put our little rubber washer onto the valve. Stick the valve inside the tank. Now when you're placing your valve, pay attention to the way it's lined up. You've got your fill tube here that's going to come out back into this area. So you'll want to kind of put it at an angle and make sure that you have plenty of room for your float to move. Making sure that you're paying attention to the alignment of your valve, let's go ahead and thread on the lock nut. Now this only needs to be hand tightened. One common mistake that DIYers make is over tightening these things, and that can lead to leaks. Now that the nut's on, let's reattach our water line. Again, this only needs to be a little bit tighter than hand tight. For our next step, we're going to take our refill tube and refill clip, attach the clip to the end of this tube, and this clip is going to mount to our overflow pipe here, and then the other end is going to connect to the supply valve here on our flush valve. Our old overflow pipe actually has a clip for our new refill tube. I'm going to get rid of that and opt for this new clip that came with the kit just to save some water. That clip is going to mount right here on our overflow tube, and from there, the other end of our tube is going to go right into the valve. If it's a little long, don't worry. You can just cut it with some scissors. Some refill sets over that. Now let's turn on the water. Chances are that your tank will have some kind of indicator as to what the appropriate amount of water will be. 
If you find that your toilet's not flushing, you can add more water. If you find that you're wasting water, you can reduce it. And thankfully, these universal valves make it easy to adjust just how much water gets stored in the tank. To adjust the water level, simply use this screw on the float valve. You can either turn it clockwise or counterclockwise, which will essentially move that float up or down, decreasing the amount of water that comes into the tank. Once you're satisfied with the water level, that's it. This job is done. Just put the tank lid back on, and that's a wrap.